So what's up guys, I'm back again with another video. Wanted to talk to you guys about my astro projection experience. Um, I actually used to have very, very bad experiences with astral projection only because I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't even know it was happening. Um, I'm in my 30s now. It used to happen really bad in my early 20s. Um, mind you, when this used to happen, I was really living a really unhealthy lifestyle. Uh, I used to smoke weed really heavy. I used to eat pork and beef and I wasn't dieting or exercising. And given I was young, so you you know, I didn't think I really had to. But I guess when it comes to doing spiritual things like this, you pretty much, it, it does help. Especially, I guess in my case, um, I come from a very spiritual family where spiritual gifts like that come naturally. So astral projection for me came really natural, but it's like I really couldn't control it. So my experiences were bad because like it would usually happen around sleep paralysis. And I think because of my unhealthy lifestyle, um, I used to get sleep paralysis like a lot back then. And what occurred was I would find myself trying to get out of it, but I would get up out my body like my spirit would raise up my body and I used to like fall to the floor like everything was like really heavy. I used to think that I was actually still awake around this time because I didn't know at this time, I didn't know what astral projection was. So it was like my body was like really, really heavy. And um, I used to think that I was still awake. Like everything kind of looked pretty much the same. I used to see my daughter still watching TV. Everybody's still doing what they're supposed to do. But it was just like, I will fall to my knees. And sometimes it will feel like I could fall through the floor. And of course, it, I didn't realize, I did realize that after numerous times it kept happening, that it wasn't normal. Um, but actually, I didn't know it was astral projection until like pretty much like almost now. And so I had to research it. So, um... Uh, what else? Yeah, it felt like my body could like sink through the floor like if I let it. So I was usually, I really didn't make it too far. It, like it felt like I was walking through water. Like it, it was like really bad and really hard for me to walk. So I didn't really get to experience this that much as far as like some people say they, you know, go down the street, you know, travel around different universes or stuff like that. Me, I could barely even make it out the room. I think because of how unhealthy my body was and the unhealthy lifestyle that I was living. So um, now that I got older, I actually don't have astral projection coming to me as natural, even though uh, I meditate and I diet and I exercise and I'm pretty much a lot more healthier. Um, I think my astral projection came from sleep paralysis. I've seen a lot of stuff during sleep paralysis. Like one time um, I seen a ghost, but I, I mentioned that in a different video. But um, I don't think that I would actually try astral projection again. That's how scary my experiences were. Um, I've seen some people say that they had the same experience only when they had like seen like maybe a dark figure around them. I don't remember ever seeing a dark figure around them. I think my experience is just from my unhealthy my unhealthy living. Um, but of course, you know, I would snap out of it and then I could find myself back in my body then I could move again. Um, so that's pretty much about it. So if you guys do astral projection, you know, make sure you guys do your research because that stuff is scary because I used to think that if I got too far or or something happened, like I said, I used to think I, I could fall through the floor and probably never reach my body again because I used to, did, used to see my body after a while. It was so scary, but um, that's just something quick I wanted to tell you guys my experience, my bad experience with astral projection. But you guys do your research and do it safely if you guys decide to do it. With that being said, stay healthy, stay positive, and stay woke.